The last vlog was about how we went into the South Ionian, went through the Left Cass Canal, we went to the Nielsen Resort and we met up with our friends. This vlog is still back in October, November. We're still catching up. Day by day, we're giving the children more responsibility and they are taking that all on board. So when we got to uh, Meganissi, we decided not to go on the dock because it was too, the depth was too shallow for our boat. So we rigged up a shoreline. It was the first time we'd done it. It's quite a tricky thing to do. You have to anchor your boat and then take a long line out to shore and then try and find something to tie it onto. We managed to get some fish from a local fisherman. We invited everyone over and we had 11 people around the table. It was really, really nice. Can you start putting this <laughs> so we decided to head further south and on the way to Civita we decided to stop in a cave called Papa Nicholas's cave. It's a sea cave on the side of a sheer rock face. When we arrived we knew it would be too deep to anchor so we kept someone on the boat. We got all the paddle boards out and um, we paddled into the cave and as you got closer it just seemed to get bigger and bigger. It was so huge as you got inside and you could really see how they would have hidden a submarine in the Second World War here, which is what they did. Children had never seen a cave this size before and it really was one of their highlights, I think, of that journey. Guys, it's amazing! Oh look, there's fish that are flying out. Yeah. Here with the beach as well. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You and where are we? In a cave. What have people done with the rock towers? Uh, they've left them. We headed on to Sibata. It's a very large bay, and in the middle of summer, they have a regatta that ends here. The whole bay is completely packed with boats. But when we arrived, there was only us and our friends and a few other boats, because the season's starting to end. We chose a spot right next to a cafe for our school for the day and Woody's office. Woody's trying to... Um, what are you trying to do? Woody's experimenting with a remote working initiative and he designs plans for making furniture and he sells them online. So he managed to catch up on some of his work. So next we headed off to Vasiliki, just further along the coast. And um, it's also closing down really, like every, everywhere else at the moment, the season's coming to an end. When we arrived, there it looks like the harbour is being rebuilt. So a lot of the stuff that was in the harbour was it's not on the charts. So we, put, we dropped the anchor and, um, and I dove down just to check to make sure that the anchor had dug in. The whole bottom part of it is completely dug in. The only bit showing is the top rim. So we met up with Jeremy, American guy who lives in Germany with his family. We've managed to collect more kids in the way. We've got nine kids now. One day maybe living aboard permanently. And we found a really good place that sells Giros. What's it called again? Giros. Giros. And we found a really... <laughs> We found a really good place that sells ghee ross. Is that, is that right? Giros. <laughs> so we left Vasiliki and said goodbye to Jeremy and his kids until next year. Woody managed to squeeze in a buzz cut as we carried on to the next spot.
So we headed over to the island of Ithaca and to Fricus Bay, which one of, is one of our favourite spots. We used to go there every week on Flotilla. Nobody was there, so we had the bay all to ourselves. Freakers Bay was a perfect place to celebrate one of um, Jamie and Craig's children's birthday. Happy birthday to you! We made some cards, I even made a cake with a tin that I found, followed a Greek recipe. We then later on went to the beach and had a fantastic fire. As we're getting used to the boat, we're realising there's more things that need sorting out on it. We keep finding faults, but luckily our friend Craig is an electrician and he managed to have a look at it all and test it a bit. That's providing pressure to go in. Now this may be a smart stepped battery monitor. So that's all right, but um, probably a brand new battery will give you a higher voltage. Going 24.3, which I think again is a little bit on the low side. So that's not enough to charge those batteries. I would expect that to be about 28 volts. Right. The question is where this one goes to. That's it, yep. Got it. The shelf got the back, so I'm trying to drop it down. So we're really thankful to Craig that he, he didn't mind doing this on his holiday. Is there any reason you can't turn your batteries off? He's the one to thank for the lovely photos that we've got in this video. So after a quick stop in Fiscardo, we went past the island of Scorpius. The island of Scorpius. The island of Scorpius is still heavily guarded as it was owned by Aristotle Onassis and his wife, who used to be married to um, President Kennedy. So you can't really get too close to the island, but we do, do know about a little beach around the south side, and we decided to go and anchor there. Rowan quite liked this story of Jackie Onassis and how she, she used to hang out on the beach, so she decided that she was gonna be Jackie for the day. Our last stop was in Nidri, and this is where me and Woody met many years ago. Nidri is where the old Nielsen base used to be, so we used to work there. That's where we were based when we were flotilla skippers. Yes, we've got another storm on the way, so we're going to move from our anchorage and go on to the Monty. So what do you do when the rain just comes down like that? Well, we get all the board games out and you play every single game that you have on the boat. And then when that all runs out, you've exhausted it, you go and find a cafe with the biggest screen and the biggest ice creams. And that's where we decided we would hang out. It's not exactly off-grid living, but what else can you do really with um, six kids around? Um, we have got some Patreon money aside for those kind of days where we can have a few treats and ice creams and um, hang out in these cafes. So big thanks to all the patrons. So the week went by way too quickly and we had to say goodbye though eventually. And it was very sad to see our friends go and wave goodbye to them. The kids had gotten so well. So after a week of having a lot of fun, there's obviously lots of jobs to catch up on. So it was a good few days of just domestic chores. Um, I, didn't, I couldn't believe how much the washing had just piled up. So I spent probably a whole day attempting to dry it all on the boat. So I also had to rig up loads of washing lines. I realised how much we probably waste water and we wash our stuff so much. So I, I worked out it was about 48 litres that the washing machine would take. I don't think that's really going to work on a boat. We need to be more careful about how much we wash stuff and whether we really need to. So finally, our friends have gone and now we're heading back north to Provesa. We're going to go to Provesa for a few days.
had a few things to tie up and then we're planning to head to Sicily. But, but we were feeling nervous about this because things were beginning to go wrong on the boat. And then we were horrified when we opened up the water tanks and had a look inside. The other thing that made us a bit nervous was the fact that the weather was changing and the storms were becoming more regular. And there were things that we didn't know about the boat still. So with all of the maintenance issues arising, including the water tanks, we really, really weren't sure whether it was such a good idea. So our next vlog is about how we made our decision. Oh, I hate all that, sorry, just... All again, forget it. Delete all that. Giros. Yeah. <laughs> it's just such a stupid name. <laughs> okay, so we found a really good place that sells G Ross. <laughs> I can't do it now. <laughs> so, <I just> think. <laughs> so we found a place that sells really good G Ross that the kids really like. Oh, no, no. I'm trying to get to the bottom of the page. Just tell me what it is again. Giros. I'm not doing it on purpose, Woody. Giros. Giros. The kids' favourite Greek food. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> Okay, so if you like these blogs, please like, follow, share on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. And if you want to donate something, then go on Patreon and you can find our page under Mothership Adrift. That's so not funny though, is it? <laughs> what?